Looking ahead towards next week, investors are going to watch the G8 Summit. And joining me today is Ben Willis from Albert Fruit & Company to give us a little bit of a preview of what we should be looking for. Thank you again for joining me. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. Great to be here. Absolutely. Now, are there any signs that the market might be bracing for any sort of particular outcome from the meeting? I don't think so. I think what the market is going to look for, however, is how the, the G8 participants handle each other. We've been in a currency war, so now we're going to get together and play nice with each other in a sandbox. It's got to be a little difficult to, to endure, especially between Japan in particular. They'll have a little bit of explaining to do and, and being delicate as how they've managed to destroy their currency and prop up all the rest. I mean, that's, that's the, the reality of it. I mean, the United States of America started it, quite frankly, with the TARP and the quantitative easing, but everybody else joined the party and, and has done a great job with it. So it'll be an interesting, I'm sure it'll be a little temperamental. Do you have any particular expectations for the summit? Well, my own expectations are a little personal because it goes to the politics of the fact that it's in Northern Ireland, and maybe the rest of the world will see why the, the, the rest of Ireland think they should have the whole island to themselves and not have the UK be part of it. But that's probably not what's going to come out of it. But the, the, I think the only expectations really are a, a, a continuation of the, the finance minister's agreeing that the, the, the quantitative easing that they've had in place is going to have to change at some time and how is it is will it be coordinated it's the early part of the of the as it was and the devaluing of their currencies there seemed to be some central bank coordination will we have that same coordination as they try and unwind it that's i think what to look for if you could dictate an outcome would it be just exactly what you said yes give ireland back to the irish and uh, I hopefully that we can have some sort of coordinated effort. The currency markets have been swinging a great deal of volatility into the equity markets as the yen moves and the dollar moves, moving the commodities and, and gold and the like. So uh, I think that it would be helpful to the market if the, there could be some sort of coordination and understanding. I don't know if we'll get there.